Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees and we caught a swarm recently and now we're going to show you in another video how to install a swarm, in a swarm out of a swarm trap into a traditional colony box or a Langstroth hive is what we are using. Uh, you can use it in a top bar depending on really what frames you've used in your swarm trap is really what will determine what how you transfer them into a traditional hive. You don't want to keep them in that swarm trap. Um, really the uh, the cavity is made for just the attraction of the bees into the colony. Um, if you've shaken them off a branch or you've, um, you know, caught them in the box with the frames in there, uh, you want to transfer them over into a, a more permanent colony in your apiary. So let's take a look at how that, that process works. Okay, like with any colony, we've uh, got our box set up. We use a setup that's unique to us. It's traditionally what we like to use, which is your bottom board, screen bottom board, slatted rack, 10 frame deep. We've got five frames in here. We just pulled a few minutes ago a frame of uh, brood, capped brood, out of another colony, a strong colony. Shook all the bees off it. We don't want to mix the bees because they could, you know, battle that new queen that's in that swarm. We don't want that. We want to just make sure that we give them the opportunity to be uh, content with the box they're moving into. So the one thing about swarms is they've already been pre-programmed to move to a new location. You know, that new location could have been uh, in a cavity of a tree somewhere uh, nearby or if you caught them in the swarm box this was their location so then you need to make this their new location um, and want them to want to stay so the things that I recommend with a with a swarm when you're caught a swarm and you're installing it in your apiary permanently uh, is to make sure that you got um, naturally you got to feed them so they make sure they got resources in here make sure that they have plenty of space the, to, in, to uh, move into the brood helps keep them there, and then if you caught the queen, that keeps them there. Any other reason, they could abscond or they could try to swarm again. I close my front entrances off because it's a screen bottom board and we use a screen top cover. So there would be good ventilation for at least a little bit. Um, the brood will keep them there, but I want to make sure that they're not going to abscond on me as soon as I put them in the box. Um, so we'll let them settle in. They're still in this box over here. So we're going to go ahead and remove the tape. And when you're pulling a swarm, they're usually settled in on the frames. There's usually, when you're pulling them the out of the box, they're usually settled in on the frames, but if they're not, you want to make sure that they don't orient too far away. So you want to put your box within, you know, a foot of your new colony. So if you open this box up and they start to orient, they'll come back to this colony. If you situate your colony box near other colonies, let's say you have a row of bees like we do, uh, where they're, only, they're within a feet or two of another colony, it's best to set that swarm box or that new colony up in a location that's at least three feet away or more from those other colonies so that the drifting that could occur from them being disoriented and not knowing where to go back to where they've oriented from before doesn't get uh, into the other highs and create a brattle, create like a robbing situation or such as that. So we've got our colony here. We're going to go ahead and open them up and hopefully they're settled in. They probably will come pouring out the top. Oh, they're real calm. Look at them girls, real calm. Real calm, okay? So you're gonna take those bees that are in the top and get them inside the colony. That's your lid. I see they're a little oriented. They're gonna orient back to this front, this box. This is um, where they're fanning because they've got their queen in here. So I'm, I've got a few frames in here that when as I pull them out, you'll see they're covered in just bees, but they're not drawn out because they haven't been in here for very long. And before I put this in, I'm going to look for a queen. I usually like to protect her in this uh, time. So if, they're, they're, if she's uh, either in the corner or underneath a cluster, that could be the case. We're going to go ahead and take these bees and put them right in here next to that brood. Take the next frame out. Now remember, you may have some bees that are hanging on, so you want to make sure that you don't drop them on the ground. They may not orient back. Okay. There's bees in here with pollen on their legs, which is great. That means they came with resources. They usually travel with a lot of resources. They usually travel with, you know, a full belly of honey so that they can start to build out comb. It takes a lot of resources to do that. Here was our frame that we used that 
should attract the bees. The comb, drawn comb. Now this is an old frame. It had some old, this is from a cutout. And you'll see some dead bees in here. It probably was from a, a dead out from winter. It was just an old piece of comb that we froze and then thawed out using our swarm traps. It's okay if you have got a few bees, a few dead bees in there. These bees are strong enough to start to pull any of those dead bees out and they will drag those bees out as they cleanse the hive. So, or you could give it a little tap and shake out any dead bees. Um, it's not necessary because they're gonna clean them out. There's a little bit of mold on this side over here. And again, I'm not worried about that only because the bees are going to clean it out. Okay, let's slide that in there in the middle. Now I've got a very large box full of bees. I have a spray bottle with sugar water, one to one, that I'm gonna mist, mist them down. Not drench them, I'm just misting them. And that will help them from just going crazy when I shake the box and dump them in. So now that I've got my bees in here, I'm actually gonna pull out a few of these frames now that I've got them in here and brush them off in. Just need a little cavity there to essentially dump the bees into. I'm gonna set these to the side. Pull that frame out. And then let's dump these bees in. You're gonna take your box, just give it a quick tap on the ground, dump your bees in. Just like you do a package. Let's throw some more bees in here, one more tap. And then we'll take that box and set it right out front and they'll be able to fly up. I'm gonna look down and make sure my queen's not in there, which she isn't. These bees are all in the colony now. Let's slide our frames back in. one frame short in here on purpose because I'm going to put a feeder in and in, in, in a frame feeder again because they've got to have resources they don't know where the resources are currently at so you want to make sure that they have resources I'm going to let them settle down for a minute go get that frame feeder put it in here and close them up um, and then we'll be uh, good with our install I use screened inner covers here so I'm going to take them as well and I'm going to put that on but with the interesting with the screen inner cover I'm going to leave it back just slightly and then put my lid just back slightly. Again, they have not oriented to this place yet. So I wanna give them the opportunity to have those pheromones. You can see them fanning, the, they know the queen's in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So they're gonna to have to fan and, and calm down and kind of settle into that new colony. You can see what they're doing there with the fanning. That's really just them letting every one other bees know that this is the new colony. This is where you need to go into. I'm gonna open up this one entrance and put it on the mouse guard because they wanna make sure that they uh, have an ability to defend their colony um, right out of the gate. Until they all get in their roles of being a guard bee and everything else. Well. We're going to let them settle in, then we'll come back, put a frame feeder in, close them up, and they're good. Um, but that pretty much is our install. So we're going to wrap the video up. Uh, if you have any questions, comment below. Definitely, uh, this is just how we do an install. We're not telling you this is how you should do an install. This is just we recommend what works for us. So we appreciate everyone supporting us on our YouTube channel and all our other social media platforms. Check out our store. we got a lot of cool merchandise out there. Some really unique t-shirts that we created, hats and sweatshirts and, and socks even, and even masks if you're, if you're a bee mask. 
We've got some of those. My wife uh, did some artwork, uh, and we published that onto a, a mask if you want to get one of those. If not, uh, we've got a lot of other uh, T-shirts and hats that you can pick up or just get some honey or equipment for your uh, bees. So check us out on our store at bohemiabees.com uh, and check us out at Bohemia Bees on any of the social media platforms. Thanks for subscribing and following us. Uh, appreciate it because remember here at uh, Bohemia Apiary, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.